Hello, Spiral friends. Welcome to this video on computation. We are going to deep dive into the division strategy of using the lattice algorithm. So our problem today is this, 917 divided by 12. We have to do some setup of this problem before we start to do any of the division. So let me go ahead and grab my markers and we will get started. So the setup of this problem, I'm going to set this up in a lattice, but this is different from lattice multiplication. So here I have a three digit number. So that means I'm going to show, show three squares and I've got my one square there. And then I'm not going to draw them here and I'm not going to draw them there, but I'm going to draw my squares so that they connect at their, um, at their corner right there. All right, so got a, third, a second square and then a third square. And then I'm going to draw in my lattice from the top right hand corner to the bottom left hand corner. And I do not need to extend it out beyond my square. We did that for multiplication, but we do not have to do that for division. And then I'm going to set up the problem. I'm figuring out how to take 917, so I write 9 above the first square, 1 above the second, 7 above the third, and I'm going to figure out how many groups of 12 I can make if I have 917. That was my setup. I set that up uh, with one color marker or one color pencil. Now I'm going to use a different color pencil. I know on my video the colors don't look that different, but if I was doing this in, on paper or maybe on a whiteboard, I would definitely use a different colored pencil or a different colored marker now as I start to do the multiplication. So first I'm going to focus here on this square right there that represents nine. And I'm gonna ask myself, how many groups of 12 can I make if I have nine? Well, if I had nine fingers right there, I can't make a full group of 12. So in the space above the lattice, I can make zero groups of 12. But if I have those nine fingers, I still have nine remaining. Nothing happened to those. So I can make zero groups of 12, but I have nine remaining. So now, I then, I'm going to take that 9 and combine it with the 1, and I sometimes like to circle this to say, oh, now I'm focused on 91. Now I'm going to ask myself to fill in this next square, how many groups of 12 can I make if I have 91? Well, let's see, I know that nah, 12 times 6 is 72, 12 times 7 is 84, so I think I can make seven full groups of 12. Remember that was 84. And if I wanna make some notes right here, I could do that. So how many are remaining after I make those seven full groups of 12? Well, 91 minus 84 is seven. So I have seven full groups of 12 with seven remaining. I'm gonna make a circle here. I'm gonna combine the seven that we had remaining with our seven that we already had written on the third box, or the third, that's not a box, that's a square, third square. How many groups of 12 can I make if I have 77? Well, let's see, seven times six is 72. So 77 minus 72 has a remainder of five. So I can make six full groups of 12, and then I have five remaining. Today in these problems, I am going to use remainders or else I could just keep going and get into decimals and fractions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the top part of each of the lattices. I see zero, seven, six. So that gives me 76. And then what's my remainder right here? A remainder of five. So when I have 917 and I divide that by 12, my quotient is 76 remainder five. And that was an example of using lattice, divi lattice division to solve a problem with division. Now I hope you will join some of our other spiral videos where we look at other division strategies as well as strategies for adding, subtracting, and multiplying. See you soon.